I live in London and love cycling, but it's a solitary activity. Just you, the weather, the gas guzzlers and the highwaymen who seem out to get you. On a well-planned demo, however, the roads are car-free. You are surrounded by well-wishers and almost everyone smiles. You experience what Tennessee Williams called the kindness of strangers. And you see democracy in action. By attending a demo, you could do more to change the world than a lifetime of voting at general elections. Cycling is good for health, good for the environment, good for the economy and good for sustainability. The bike is the great green machine. It was one of the 19th century's best inventions. It's the most widely used form of transport in the world. But bikes need much better infrastructure. So, how to plan a good demo? You need drama, music, scenography and narrative, as does Grand Opera. Scotland's 2014 Pedal on Parliament was a great example of how to do it. I recommend finding a producer, a musical director, a landscape architect and good speakers. Black jokes and a dash of glamour can be useful too. These people who have spoken to you are going to give a speech. Please to come up uh, no, onto you. the grassy knoll. Uh, I've got one, thank you. What do you want? <laughs> The reason I want the roads safer for cycling is because cy many cyclists have been killed and injured on the roads by reckless drivers. I want to be able to go for a big bike ride and from my house without being endangered. Just now, if I want to go on a big bike ride, I have to go in the pub with my bike and my family to find somewhere quiet, but it's all safe for us to cycle. It'll be great in Scotland, like Amsterdam. I can't cycle as much, as much as I want because the roads aren't safe. But thanks to Pedal and Pallum and its supporters, you lot. <laughs> Pop exists for you who want to make cycling safe and changing the thoughts of new possible cyclists from it's too risky to it's really good. <laughs> the reason I support Pop is because I want to cycle. I congratulate first of all the organisers of this event, a fantastic event, one of uh, I would say the biggest demonstrations we've had outside the parliament here. I understand of course there's a great deal of organisation has to go into this by a number of people so to Dave and his uh, fellow organisers well done and thank you to you as well for coming along and making your views known. To speak to us, now, Lynn runs a charity, uh, Andrew Cyclist and uh, it's good to give as well, she does a lot of good charity work. But as well as that, unfortunately, Lynn's here with a sad story, so I'll let Lynn talk to you today. Thanks, Dave. Wow. I mean, just this is just incredible. I was here um, at the first pedal in Parliament two years ago, and to see so many more people attending today is fantastic. And all credit to Dave and the POP team for doing so. Over the past week on social media, yes, please do, come on, big cheer for the team, they're all here. Over the past week, though, on social media, there's been some talk about why I support Pedal on Parliament. And I saw that David put down that he supports Pedal on Parliament for his children. And we've heard from the children, and actually I'd rather have spoken before the children than after them, because they were so good. 
<laughs> in fact, actually, you didn't need anyone else after the children because they said it all for us. But Sally put down that she was supporting Pedal in Parliament to save the planet. Now, I care about both of those things, but I'm here supporting Pedal in Parliament for a much sadder reason, a reason I wish I wasn't. And that's because on the 5th of January 2012, my stepson Andrew was killed on the Lanark Road um, cycling to work. I don't want anyone else to feel the feelings that we had on that day and to have the feelings that we have every day since then. The pain never goes away from you. It just doesn't, as I'm sure anyone who's bereaved will know. And I just don't want that, and that's why we support Pedal on Parliament. We have Alison Johnson from the Green Party. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Um, I too would like to thank Daniel, Catherine and Kyle. What a great way to kick off this event. Who is here for the first Pedal on Parliament? How many of you were here last year? And how many of you are here for the first time? You know, this is a growing movement and what strikes me every year, it, this is not a niche activity, this is mainstream. Here we are, young, old, fit, not so fit. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, husbands, we're all here. We're just normal people who quite like to get about a bit more safely on our bikes and walking. So we're here because we want more government investment, don't we? Yeah! All the parties must buy into in their next manifestos and the way that you can do that is go back and say to your MSPs, especially the ones who haven't been able to get here today or don't make it a priority, of which there are still some, that this really matters and it's about a good quality of life for the whole of Scotland, urban and rural. Thank you. I personally have uh, been cycling pretty well all my life. I'm a 1,500 to 2,000 a year person just round about the centre of the city and I do it for loads of reasons. I do it to keep fit. Uh, I do it because it's convenient. I do it because it's cheap. Uh, it's, it's healthy. And there are all sorts of reasons that we need to move on from where we are today. But I think we have to give credit for where we've come from and to recognise that there's progress. And I do think we also have to recognise that not everybody is going to be a cyclist. It's about to reach the end of the day. There's only a few things left to do. And one of those is I need to say thank you to a number of different people. Thank you very much. Thank you.